Hey there, people. It's been a little while. It's been a minute since I've come on and done a little bit of a mini teach. I'll try not to move the camera too much. I'm sorry if I'm giving you guys like motion sickness. Um, big good day from down under. This is just a mini teach. I actually think we're going to get a little bit prophetic here today, so just bear with me. So what is a mini teach? It is a short power pack of teaching, a nugget of truth, if you will, in less than 10 minutes. So let's see how I'm going. <laughs> let's see where we're going today. Now this is important. This is this is like crunch time in across the nations right now. So I want to read to you Proverbs 14.34 in the New King James says, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Wow. All right. <sighs> if you're in the church, if you are a clar if you are uh, like a beacon of hope and righteousness, then I am preaching to the choir right now. But for those of you who may come across this video by happenstance or whatever it is, let me just be really clear about what righteousness is. Righteousness is not anything defined by our standard or what our truth is or this this postmodern narrative that's 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 guys, postmodernism, come out of that nonsense. It's absolutely um it will absolutely destroy any hope you have in anything, like anything. If it all, let's be honest about this, guys. If it all comes down to your own personal truth, if that's what it comes down to, each individual gets to decide what's true for them. Guys, no wonder we're in the mess that we're in. This is why we need to have righteousness. Righteousness can only be defined by God because he's the only one to which that standard actually applies. Righteousness actually means, if you want to break it down, the etymology of the word, and I, 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 I'm not great with Greek or Hebrew yet, guys. I'm still studying. Note, note the glasses. What do you think of the glasses? I'm doing so much reading. My eyes are going, help me. But righteousness means right standing with God. And the Bible is very clear that none of us are righteous. No, not one person. So your truth means nothing before a holy God. Just want to say it. Just got to say it. Righteousness is what exalts a nation. And as we are looking around the shaking of our economies, the shaking of everything, like there's not a lot I'll say publicly just yet, prophetically, because the Lord hasn't released me to, but if you are not paying attention, um, you should be. We are experiencing great shaking. And I do believe by the end of, um, we have financial year here in, in Australia is midway through the year. But, you know, by early July, we could see massive economic hardship hitting across the Western world in the United States. Now, I do believe Australia is going to weather it better than other Western countries. And I've given other words about that. If you want to go back through my prophetic words on my, on my, mm, is this one on my blog? I actually don't know. <laughs> I've been, I've been busy this year, guys. I haven't been as on it with ministry and all the rest of it, but you should be able to find it. You'll be able to find it somewhere. It might actually be up here in my Instagram if you're on my Instagram. If not, hit me up with an email somewhere and let me know. But one way or another, guys, we are in for some difficult times. And at the end of the day, and I'm speaking now to the nation of Australia because this is the nation that I live in and this is my area, my sphere, my metron. We need to repent. We need to align ourselves with the righteousness of God because if we don't, the reproach that's spoken about in this scripture is bringing with it some pretty hectic consequences. All right. Now, in saying all that, I want to remind you guys of the love of God. Okay. God is love. That is who he is. However, if you are a parent uh, or a grandparent or a school teacher or you in any way work with children, you understand the importance of discipline. You understand the importance of the corrective side of love because it's not loving to your children to not correct them. All right. The, the Bible actually says if you if you speak bear the rod, like if you do not actually correct your child, you, you hate them. That's the language. Like, wow, that's intense language. But that's what the scripture says. So right now, 
if the if our nations and I'm crying out for the nation of Australia to repent for our leaders to repent for us to see our need to to push away from this narrative that we have and get back to the foundation of absolute truth which is only found in God and can only be accessed through Jesus Christ so this is this is what we have to stand on this is what we have to stand on because it is righteousness that exalts a nation and if we do not cry out for righteousness in our own nations, we are very quickly, especially in the West. I'm just saying, I know other Eastern nations, you guys already, other places you've already been copying it. But the West is about to get a huge spanking. It's probably the best way to say it with love. Um, but guys, get back to the righteous standard of God. And that's only found in Christ Jesus. We are not righteous of ourselves. There are no works we do that make us righteous. We are not by nature good people. That is a lie. The heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Scripture says that too. But if we want to see the move of God in our nation, let's be crying out for righteousness in our nation, for our leaders to repent, um, you know, for whatever that looks like. And in the meantime, guys, I would be saying to you, make sure you are preparing your Goshen. I gave a word about that last September. Make sure you are preparing your Goshen. I'm not going to give any more detail about that. If you would like to hear about that, please join um, Nesher, Eagles Take Flight. If you're here on Instagram, it's up in the um, in the link you'll be able to go up into my link tree and, and, and join it from there. All right, guys, so bless you. Remember, be in prayer for your nations right now. We're experiencing some significant shaking, but we are going to see the Spirit of God break out in our nations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, guys, I'll, um, I'll see you some other time in my next mini teach, wherever that is. Bless you, guys. Bye.